By using Visual Studio Code, the infrastructure and operations team can enhance their productivity, work with a variety of programming languages and tools, collaborate effectively, and troubleshoot code-related issues more efficiently. Embracing VS Code as a valuable tool in their workflow can help the team stay current and adapt to the evolving technological landscape. But getting started with Visual Studio Code is often difficult for most of us. This tutorial is specially designed for those who are starting with infrastructure as code journey and want to understand what is VS Code and why it is important for them before they dig into the complex world of DevOps. I'm Deepthi Narayan and on behalf of Thinknix Technologies, I would like to welcome you all to this informative tutorial on Visual Studio Code. Without any further delay, let's quickly get started. Let us now discuss what is IDE. An IDE or Integrated Development Environment is a software program that simplifies the process of writing computer programs. Imagine that you want to bake a cake. You would need ingredients, utensils and a kitchen to work in. The IDE is like your virtual kitchen. It provides a code editor which is like your mixing bowl where you write your program's instruction. The editor often helps you by highlighting different parts of the code in different colors, making it easier to read and understand. Just as a recipe book guides you in the baking process, an IDE offers features that assist programmers. It can suggest code completions, automatically fill in common programming patterns, and offer hints and suggestions to speed up the coding process. Moreover, an IDE includes tools to help you find and fix errors, just like a friend who helps you in identifying the mistakes in your recipe. It can point out syntax errors, logical mistakes, or inconsistencies in your code, making it easier to correct them. Additionally, an IDE provides a way to organize and manage your project. It allows you to create different files and folders to store your code, resources, and documentation. It often integrates with version control systems, enabling you to track changes and collaborate with others efficiently. Overall, an IDE simplifies programming by offering a convenient and productive environment where you can write, test and manage your code efficiently, just like a well-equipped kitchen that helps you bake a delicious cake. One of the most popular IDE is Visual Studio Code. VS Code offers a wide range of features to enhance productivity and streamline the coding experience. Some notable features of VS Code include IntelliSense. This feature provides intelligent code completion, suggestions and context-aware hints as you type, saving time and reducing errors. Built-in Terminal It allows developer to run commands and scripts directly within the editor, eliminating the need for switching between different applications. Git integration. VS Code offers seamless integration with Git version control, enabling developers to manage source code repositories, view differences, and perform Git operations without leaving the editor. Extensions and customization. VS Code can be extended with a vast ecosystem of extensions, adding support for different programming languages, frameworks, and tools. It also allows customization of themes, key bindings, and settings to personalize the editor according to individual preferences. Code formatting and linting. It supports automatic code formatting to maintain consistent coding styles and integrate with popular linters to catch and highlight coding errors and potential issues. Multiple cursors and selections. This feature allows simultaneous editing of multiple locations in the code, making repetitive edits or refracting more efficient. These are just a few of many features that make Visual Studio Code a popular choice among many developers. Its flexibility, extensive ecosystem of extensions, and user-friendly interface contribute to its appeal for various programming languages and development scenarios. Let's take a look at the demo on how to use Visual Studio Code. Let's first install it. To do so, first go to code.visualstudio.com. You should be able to see the option to download here. If not, there is a download option on the top right corner. Click on it and select the VS Code as per your operating system. I'm using Windows and so I'll be downloading it from the first option here. An exe file will be downloaded. Open the file. Accept the agreement, click next, click on install once this completes.
click on finish. You should be landing upon this page. As mentioned earlier, VS Code comes up with a built-in terminal. We should be able to see the terminal here. If not, we can open one by going to the terminal at the top and selecting New Terminal. Here we can provide any command you want to execute. Let me create a directory called ThinkNix. Let's now go inside this folder. Let's use PWD to identify the path and let's copy this. Now let's open this folder. To do so, click on file option, which is present here. Now you see that there are two options. One is open file and the other is the open folder. Many get confused between the two. Use open file when you want to just open the file. If you try to open a folder with this option, you will not be able to view that particular folder. To open folder, we need to use this option, open folder. Let's select this and select our folder, think next. We see that this folder is empty. Let's create a file inside this folder. We can use the command code and type the name of the file like this and press enter and save the file. We can use this option or let me show it to you the other way. If you see here, there are two options. One is new file and the other is new folder. We want to create a new file, right? So let's select this and let's create a file by the name mail.tf. Let's say we want to work on Terraform. Let's see what happens without using extensions. Let's add some Terraform code here. You will observe that VS Code is auto formatting and closing the curly braces. Let's compare the same using a notepad. We see that we need to take care of opening and closing the brackets and braces. This formatting feature of VS Code will help us reduce errors related to syntax. But there is no intelligence and you see that I'm typing everything. Now we can use extensions for Terraform by HashiCorp itself. To do so, click on the four squares you see on the left hand panel or you can also use Ctrl Shift X. Let's search for HashiCorp Terraform. Let's click on install. Now, if I come back to the main.tf, I see that the color has been changed now and it is easy to identify. Also, if I start typing, you see that it auto completes. Amazing, right? Now, if I remove one of the curly brackets, it's going to highlight that code error and give us the detail about the same, thus helping us resolve the issues easily. Let's say we want to create two EC2 instances. I now want to change these two instances from T2 micro to T2 small. Instead of editing in both the places, we can use multiple cursor feature of VS Code. Select the place where you want to change by pressing the Alt key. Here I have two places to edit. Keep pressing Alt while you place the cursor to the second one. Now you see that I will be able to edit it. Let's change T2 micro to T2 small. We can also use features like auto save. Many of the time we forget to save and wonder why the output is not as per our expectation. With this auto save on focus change feature, it will be easy for us to save our code as soon as you click somewhere else. To do so, go to manage, go to settings, type auto save here, select on focus change in the drop down.
Now, if I go back and type something and focus somewhere else, you see that it will be auto saved. Cool, right? That's it for this demo. That's it for today. In the next tutorial, we will take a look at how to use VS Code with version control system. We really hope this video was informative to you. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe and click on the link below to know more about Thinkmix. We should see you soon in our next video.